Greetings to all of humanity, it's really a joy, it's a pleasure to be out here in nature this morning and greeting you knowing that I always bring a message of joy and peace to you, a message of emancipation to you, a message that will set you free if you would believe and just learn to look inwardly to discover your true identity which is your divinity. So all I'm saying to you is to believe in yourself and to trust yourself and never to look outwardly but to look inwardly. That's the reason why I want to speak to you concerning praying and asking and that feeling is the prayer. Many people speak about praying and when they speak about praying they speak about praying as begging and pleading and in the scripture it tells you that you must ask and it will be given seek and you shall find knock and the door will be open unto you and many people believe that this asking is begging but this asking is speaking of having a desire so it is saying when you have a desire, that is the asking. And when you have that desire, you must acknowledge that it is, has already been done. And when you acknowledge that it, it, it has already been done, it's because you acknowledge that creation is already finished. Therefore, if you accept that creation is already finished, all you need to do is give thanks for that which has already been finished. How do you give thanks? By having the feeling that it is already yours. And acting out that feeling of how you will feel that your wish has already been fulfilled. So feeling is the prayer. So it doesn't matter how much you might say that you believe. It doesn't matter how much you would say that you pray. If you do not have the feeling that your wish has already been fulfilled, then the subconscious mind will not be able to register anything from you. Because you have a, a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind deals with the invisible you. And the invisible you is impartial. It has no judgment. Thus the reason why we have to love unconditionally and we're not supposed to judge and condemn anyone. Thus the reason why whenever we find ourselves in disagreement and argument is because there's some sort of disagreement or argument within ourselves that we must get rid of and cleanse ourselves of. So we are always in constant need of cleansing our own selves and not others. Thus the reason why my brother and my sisters, when you have the feeling, it is because you know. And when you know, that your wish has already been fulfilled even though you haven't seen it. It is referred to as faith. For it is said that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But the subconscious mind, which I would have said before, which is impartial, just like the earth is impartial, and just like the womb, womb of a woman is impartial, whatever you saw in Mother Earth is going to bring back to you Whatever you saw in the womb of a woman is going to bring back to you. And whatever you saw in the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind will receive it as a feeling. And whatever feeling that is impressed upon the subconscious mind, that is what it will give back to you. So if you give the subconscious mind a feeling of lack, a, a feeling of, 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 of need, a, a begging feeling, a, 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 a feeling of you don't have then that is what would 
the, the subconscious mind will give back to you. But if you give the subconscious mind a feeling, a, a impression, you impress upon the subconscious mind, a feeling of abundance, a feeling of joy and peace and happiness, a feeling of contentment, a feeling of knowing that it is so, a feeling of your wish has already been fulfilled, a feeling that all of creation is already finished and that nothing is impossible and that you are limitless, then you will get back that resolve. That's the reason why you are told that if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. And that when you ask, you must believe in all your, with all your heart and it will be done. For you say, all that have asked, they have received. To all those who have knocked, it has been opened to them. To all those who have seek, they are fine. But my brother and my sisters, never forget that the way you feel about yourself would mean what you produce in your life. So it is not what a man wish that does he always get. But you would only attract that which you are. So the concept that you hold about yourself have a lot to do with your reality. That's the reason why I written a book called Your Mood is Your Fortune. It's how you feel about yourself. It's how you feel about the world. It's how you feel about the circumstances. It's how you feel about others. It's how you feel about life. It's the feeling. It's the feeling you carry. So the real prayer is feeling. That's the reason why it has nothing to do with morality. It's how you feel. There are so many people who are so loyal to their religion. They believe they have so much love in their heart. Yet the things that they want to take place in their life are not taking place in their, li taking place in their life. Why? Because they do not have the feeling. You have to have the feeling. You can't be rich if you don't have that rich feeling. You can't be wealthy if you don't have that wealthy feeling. You can't be wise if you don't have that wise feeling. You can't be healthy if you don't have that healthy feeling. You gotta have the feeling. You have to activate the feeling and always live in that feeling. Walk in that feeling. That's the reason why you're told that man is not the victim of circumstances. But circumstances are the creatures of man. If I should put it another way, man is not the creature of circumstances. Circumstances are the creatures of man. You produce that by your thinking. So my brother and my sisters, I believe what I would have said here, you would have gotten something from it. And if you've gotten anything at, at all from it, let it be that it is the feeling that you feel about yourself. It's how you see yourself. That is why the first step is to love yourself. That's the reason why I tell you the greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all of thy heart and thy strength and love the thy neighbor as, thy, as you love yourself. Because to love God is to love yourself, to love yourself first. It's only until you can love yourself and understand yourself that you can understand others and you will understand is the way how you feel about yourself that will create your reality and create your relationship with others also because the way you feel about yourself it will also mean your relationship with others so with that being said my brother and my sister I want to thank you very much and I want to encourage you to like or uh, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and to comment but most of all I'm encouraging you to share this message with all those that you believe would benefit from this message if you're benefiting also. And always remember that this message I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6.22 tells you if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. And when you have that experience, you will come to realize 
that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And you put your hand on your crown chakra because you would know that you would have burst your crown chakra. And you come to realize that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And all of humanity has been powered by the sun. Therefore, my encouragement to you is to always use your mind power to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.